Good morning. Today, I'm gonna do a century, and I haven't done a century in three years, so it should be interesting. We're gonna celebrate Native American Heritage Day. We're gonna talk about Thanksgiving a little bit too, which was yesterday. I'm gonna try to finish the century in six hours or less, and we're gonna go through the land of the Kumiye people who lived in what is now formerly known as San Diego County. I'll tell y'all a life hack. If you have to wake up super early, make your breakfast the night before. I know it doesn't look that good, but trust me, it's good. This is a uh, kamut, which is basically uh, oatmeal. It's like an ancient grain. But yeah, make it the night before. That way you just wake up, get up and go. That should give me about, let's say three, 400 calories, which is definitely enough for the first hours. It is cold. My phone said it's supposed to be 55 right now. There's no way, there's no way. It feels like 45. I'm not trying to be dramatic. It definitely feels like 45. I got my gloves on. I got jacket on, plus a jersey underneath. The tricky thing is, once the sun comes up, it'll warm up quick, so I'll have to stuff all this stuff in the jersey and carry it for the rest of the day. I'm headed to Mount Soledad right now. And then I'll try to link up with my boy, David, after that. He's doing some uh, gravel slash road stuff, so we're gonna try to link up after I hit Soledad. And head north for a little bit together. This bike path goes past UCSD, so if you're ever in the area, and you can take it to La Jolla, and I think it goes to Mission Bay now. I haven't done that yet, but maybe I'll do it one day and record it just in case any of y'all are out here visiting and riding. kids are about to be high-rise living man legend has it that I guess that was Dr. Seuss's house I could be botching that, but that's what I heard. Never met Dr. Seuss, so I can't I can't tell you if it's true or not. here anytime uh, I just use the bathroom but it's like a memorial and you got a view of downtown San Diego and Mission Bay over there and I think that might be Mexico way way down there now we pose the questions of the day as I'm on my way to meet up David Knocked out solo today. We're going back through UCSD campus. Nothing but climbing. This first part of the ride. The two questions of the day. One, 
Should we celebrate Thanksgiving? Knowing how this country was acquired and the tragedies that took place in the process of it? It's an open question. I identify as African American. I do have Choctaw blood in me, but I don't think you need to be either one of those two things to have an opinion or answer to that question. Question number two, what are you thankful for? Chew on that and then we'll catch up. We'll ask David the same two questions, see what he has to say. Did a quick pit stop, get some more water. We're about an hour and a half in, feeling good. We stayed at Bobo Bar. I have 2,000 calories worth of Bobo Bars with me on my bag. I might not stop to eat, but I might stop to get a coffee, depending what time I get the coast. We are waiting for David on this busy street. Ready to get on the road. Caught up with David. Yo! Me and David grew up with each other reconnected on the bike we knew each other when we were like set and then i think we stopped talking for how many years you think i don't know it's a bad falling out <laughs> <laughs> so we got the two questions of the day first one is what are you thankful for what am i thankful for i am thankful for just being able to get up and go a lot of like like my mobility i suppose physically and just like just grateful for family support that i've had and friends support and just being able to move around and see what's out there. The fact that we can even get out on the bike is like a blessing in itself. It's amazing, man. It's like there's nothing more. Like this is the peak. Right. <laughs> and it's freaking amazing. And I'm all about people just doing whatever movement that they, they enjoy. Yeah. They don't have to get on the bike. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> So second question of the day. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Should we celebrate Thanksgiving? Should we should we celebrate Thanksgiving? Yes. Yeah, that's a great question. And, and there's no right or wrong answer. Yeah, totally, man. And so definitely as someone with indigenous heritage, myself from the Karuk tribe, Northern California, um, I've definitely had mixed feelings about it over the years. There's a feeling of like, is this is the real story being told, you know? Right, right, right. And that's my only problem with it. If there's a, a fake story that we heard as kids, of like everyone's buddies and like oh yeah native people helped out all the pilgrims and everyone was friends right as long as the, the like accurate story is being told and we're not glorifying the settlers the colonizers and we're not pretending that everybody was buddy buddies tell the whole truth yeah exactly that said like i love the whole theme of it now being just a time for families to get together and like so many cultures like in America that and even immigrant cultures celebrate it. Celebrate it, yeah. And it's like I'm not gonna say no to that. And like a day to be grateful and a day to like vocalize it. And I think for some people it's like the one time a year they verbalize right, what they're this. Yeah, thankfulness and what they're grateful Our for. Gratitude, you should say. Yeah, so I'm yeah. all about that. But on the bike front, I'm like only 30 miles in now, 70 miles to go. We got David, Justin, and Chad. Two and a half hours in, 40 miles, 30 minutes behind schedule, but that is because I have 3,500 feet of climbing already. So we got another big climb coming up, so I'm guessing probably finish around two, I'll say. That was a good pick me up, man. I always dub run into friends on the road. I'll try to make up some time between now and the climb. Goal is stay in zone two. Layers start coming off. Jacket just got unzipped. Gloves already off. Warm it up. Just stopped at a gas station. I had to get some Gatorade real quick. Feeling that bump coming on. 
So I ate some food, got some sugar in me, almost a double peak. Topped off both bottles, so that should get me through double peak and then to the coast for coffee. Double Peak is done, headed to coffee. We're about 60 miles in. I'm actually feeling kind of good. Got my second win. Popped the bar at the top, it's gonna be rolling. Descending though, and then we'll hit the coast, which is easy peasy. I'm gonna get some coffee though, definitely need that boost. Let's see how long this uh, pick me up lasts. Hasn't kicked in yet, but hopefully it gets me across the finish line. Alright, we're calling an audible. I'm at 86 miles, close to my house, and I don't feel like finding 14 more miles of road. <laughs> Probably end up with 90-ish. I took some shortcuts to meet up with David in time, and I think that's what ultimately cut out some of the miles, but still a good day on the bike. We'll get over five and a half hours, and close to 8,000 feet of climbing, so I'm good with that. From 